I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. They've got the garland up. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to see it at night with the lights too. So this is one of the newer decorations they haven't had in previous years, these cute little Christmas poodles. So for people that don't know, a little Easter egg to Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you can see the Eddie Valiant private eye sign and just to the left, you can see uh, Roger Rabbit's uh, silhouette smashed through the blinds there. There's Santa and we are at Echo Lake where they have the Christmas tree and all of the little ornaments in the water. And Gertie, the dino with her Santa hat and ornament. So they took down some of the construction walls they had here for the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway attraction because they have to do Jingle Bell Jingle Bam now that it's Christmas time. So we just saw the preview of Ralph Breaks the Internet. What did you think? Lots of uh, marketing in your face, but oh, good. I thought it was cute. I'm intrigued by it and now I want to go see it. So it works. So we are about to go see Frozen so we can hear them sing their Christmas songs. I hope so. That we can really bring in the holiday. I'm so glad you're here. The royal historians of Arendelle have been sharing our stories. Thank you. That was a very good story you told.
So Woody has an oversized scarf on. I guess he ordered it too big. But let's go see what Christmas decorations they have and ride Toy Story Mania because we have a fast pass. So Jesse and Rex say things occasionally that are holiday related. And you can hear the jingling from Slinky Dog. Tyler was trying to read some of the secrets to getting a higher score on this ride, so let's see if they work out. This is actually the newer side, which we've never been on before, but they sent us here. I think that's the best score I've ever gotten on this. Look at him with the Santa hat on. He's so cute. We've got some nice alien ornaments here. That one back there has a funny face. He looks so content. The green army men are marching by with their little Christmas scarves. I love it. There's Woody and Jesse in their festive gear. Woody's got a candy cane gun. How cute. There is the Christmas tree all lit up at night. It's gorgeous. Of course the holidays wouldn't be complete without Christmas drinks. So we both got peppermint mochas. I got the frappuccino version and he got the latte. Yeah. So this is Flurry of Fun where they have projection mapping up on Tower of Terror. They started this last year, but they didn't have the lasers last year. So this will be cool. <laughs> So we're here in Baseline Tap House. This is like heaven for adults who come to Hollywood Studios because they have different types of beers, usually one cider and a couple of food items, but more like appetizers. So Tyler was really craving this pretzel, which we've had before. It's super good and it comes with honey mustard and like a beer cheese dip. It's delicious, highly recommend if you come here. I see Santa trying to deliver some presents early this year. And over here's the Christmas store. It's open all year round, but it's even more magical to go into it at this time of year. Are you excited to meet Mickey and Minnie? I'm so excited. As you can tell, I'm repping them. They're a couple goals. I love them so much. So right now we are waiting for Jingle Bell Jingle Bam to start and that is the Christmas fireworks.
here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Yeah, we checked out uh, holiday decorations, watched the shows, watched uh, f the sunset seasons greetings. So we hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. Oh, and we got the best thing ever. The big pretzel. Oh my gosh, that's what he's most excited about. Goodbye, Bye, humans. humans. Cross nipping at your nose. So I'm on.